to this video tutorial um, we're going to learn how to write some Python code on your computers to be able to connect to a Raspberry Pi running Minecraft um, and hopefully be able to, to use your code to create some blocks in a shared Minecraft universe. So we're going to have a bit of a competition, see who can make the best structure by writing some code in Python um, and ultimately it'd be really good to get sort of Hollywood sign in 3D blocks like this. We've got the word high here and uh, we're going to learn how to, um, how to write the code that connects to this Raspberry Pi and puts your blocks um, in the 3D Minecraft universe. Okay, so if you're doing this at home, you'll need to download Minecraft for a Raspberry Pi. It's free to download. It's not the full version. You only get creative mode rather than survival, um, but it's free to download from this link. So when you download Minecraft for a Raspberry Pi, it comes in a zip file, um, a zip folder, sorry. I've unzipped that and saved it on the desktop. So you get a folder called MCPI for Minecraft Pi. Inside that is this file, Minecraft-Pi, which is the one that you need to run. So to do that, bring up a terminal, um, and we need to get into the desktop folder first. So CD for change directory, and then desktop. And then inside that, we need to get into the MCPI folder, so CD space MCPI. And then we want to run um, the Minecraft Pi executable file, so that's dot forward slash and then minecraft and pressing tab to auto complete. That should start up minecraft. You can click start game and, and create new or double click on one if you've got one already. And it saves the state of the game from the previous games. This is where we're going to use. Before we get started writing some code, it's worth understanding the coordinates used in minecraft and in any 3D game. Um, so up in the top left hand corner of the Minecraft window, there's three numbers. It says pos for position, and at the moment on my screen it says 3, 4.1 and 16.5. As you move around, these numbers change. The first number is the x-coordinate, and that's um, how far across you are. So if I move right, the number goes up. If I move left, the number goes down. The next number is y, and if you remember y up into the sky, um, so as you move up, the y-coordinate goes up and as you move down, the Y coordinate goes down. Um, I'm using sort of fly mode, which you can do by double tapping space on the, on the keyboard. And then the final one is the Z coordinate, which is how far into the universe you are. So if you zoom in, um, for me the number goes down, if you zoom out, the number gets bigger. Okay, um, so just to picture what's going to happen, I've got three um, windows. One's the Minecraft window here. Uh, this is the terminal window that I used to, to run Minecraft, and this is another one um, that we've got open. If you were to take it in turns, a whole class of students to type code on here, it's going to get pretty boring. Um, but just to see how it would work, I'll show you how it works on here, and then I'll show you some tools that you can download to be able to write some code on your own computers, and then it gets much more fun. Okay, so I'm pressing Tab, which releases the mouse from the Minecraft window, so that we can go onto this one. Um, first we need to get into the Minecraft folder, so I'm going into the desktop, into the MCPI folder. Inside that, so press ls to list the files, there's a folder called API, so I'll go into that one. Um, there's a few more to go into, there's one called Python, um, and then there's another one called MCPI, so see the MCPI. Okay, inside this folder we've got lots of Python files. Um, and we're not going to run any of those directly, we're just going to load up Python 2.7, which on Raspberry Pi we can do by typing Python, and then we can import them so that we can start accessing this Minecraft world. So we go import um, Minecraft, to load the Minecraft module, and import block, so that we can know the difference between lava and stone and all the rest of it. Okay, so first of all we need to make a connection from your program, your Python program to the Minecraft world. So here we go, um, MC, we're making a new object called MC for Minecraft equals, go inside the Minecraft module, we go inside the Minecraft class with a capital M, and then we use a function called create, um, open and close brackets. So we've now got an object called MC, and we can use that to uh, do a number of things. We can do post to chat, and then we can put a little message in there, hello Minecraft. And then you should see a message coming up on the screen. Um, so when you're all sending messages around in the classroom, um, we'll change it a little bit, it won't just be any message, it'll say your username and the computer that you're sat at, so before you get too tempted to post swear words or anything like that. Um, as well as posting messages, you can also set a block 
Um, so if we try and find out the position just at the top of this lump of lava over here, so if we fly over here um, and read off the coordinates, so that's 2.4, 5.1, 2.1. Ignore the decimal places and we'll just go 2, 5, 2. And move out so we can see it if it appears. Press tab to release the mouse. So we've got mc.setBlock brackets 2, comma, 5, comma, 1. So it's x coordinate first, y coordinate next, and then z coordinate last. And then afterwards, we want to say what type of block it is. So we'll go block dot stone. So hopefully, when I press enter, there should be a stone block that appears just here. Let's try it. But yeah, there we go. Um, so this works, but obviously, only one person can use the keyboard at once, um, and you can only see well only the number of students that can fit around the screen will be able to see that that block appears. What we're going to do now is learn how you can simulate this on your own computers, write the code, test it on your own computer, and then when you're ready just change a couple of lines of code and then run it inside a shared Minecraft world. That's what we're going to try and do today. So you'll have to download a zip file from this link here. Be careful because it's case sensitive which means you have to put the K, the G and the M as capital letters. Once you get the zip file you need to extract it uh, and then you'll open idle. If you haven't got idle, uh, we've got it at school, but if you have, um, want to do this at home you can download it for free at this link just here. Okay, so once you've downloaded and extracted the zip file um, you need to open idle. If you're in school you can do this nice and easily. It's on um, the shared drive, so S, resources, computing, and it's called Python 2.7. Uh, idle. It does work in Eclipse, so if you're used to using Eclipse you can make it work that way, um, but it takes quite a long time to import all of the OpenGL files that um, allow the 3D graphics to work, so um, for the first time it runs a little bit faster in idle, so that's why we're going to use idle for today. So we need to open the mc.py python file in idle, we do that by pressing Ctrl and O. You'll have to go into the folder that you extracted from the zip file and find mc.py. You've got some code in here um, and to run this straight away you can do that by pressing F5. It takes a few seconds to load. Python's an interpreted language which means it's not as fast as languages like C or C++ to run. Um, it's nice and fast to, to learn how to, to use it um, and it's a bit easier to, to learn than those languages but it does mean that the code runs a little bit more slowly. So far this code has got one stone block and one TNT block in front of it. You can move around the same way as you can in Minecraft, so W, A, S and D. Um, you don't have the coordinates at the top left. If you want to see where you are, press P. Um, and then when you quit with Q it tells you your coordinates just here. Okay, so let's get back to the code. Um, remember, you'll have been given a team. You'll either be stone or TNT or sand or wood. And you'll be given a Z coordinate. Um, so anything that you draw should be at your Z coordinate. So um, let's say we're in the, the, the sand team. Um, that means that all the blocks that you draw should be with sand and they should be with Z equals 20. That means Z coordinate is how far um, away from the camera you are if you're looking north. So um, you would have to, I can't remember the Z coordinate, sorry, sand is 20. So let's put 20 as the third number in here. Remember X comes first, then it's Y and then it's Z. And you change this to sand. And let's get rid of this block just here. Press F5 to run it. And we should now just have one block of sand over here. Okay, so your challenge is to look at um, the grid that you've got on your sheet of paper and try and draw a block for each of these blocks here. So I'll get you started with the first one. Um, X goes across, so this first block here is 2 across on the X axis um, and 8 up on the Y axis. So if we wanted to draw this in sand you'd have to put 2 across on the X axis and 8 across um, up on the y, y axis and then you could copy and paste Control c Control v Oops. Um, for each block that you do and that would work so if we wanted the next one down that's x is still 2 but y is now 7 you could do that in there run it with f5 and you should now have two blocks of sand 
Um, so you get the idea, you just have to do that for each of the blocks on H and then all of the blocks for R of code. There are ways to speed this up, so you can have a look at the code snippets on your slip of paper. This lets you just type in the coordinates and it will loop through your list of blocks and draw those nice and neatly. Um, or you can use lists, um, uh, sorry, ranges to be able to generate your um, the lines of um, all of the, the code that you want. So it's up to you how you draw this. The easiest way to understand is to, um, to copy and paste the set block code for each one here. But the faster way to do it is to use one of these just here. Okay, make sure that you tick off each of your tasks as you go. Um, and then the first people to, to finish will get merits or prizes as they go through. All the best.